Well, the Prime Minister of Georgia, Iraqli Gary Bashvili, is with me now. Welcome to World News Today. Thank you. Um, South Ossetia, is it your fear that it could go the way of Crimea and be absorbed by the Russian Federation? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, let me uh, describe the situation. Well, the situation in South Ossetia and uh, in Abkhazia is absolutely different. When people compare the uh, existing situation uh, of Abkhazia and South Ossetia to Crimea, I think it's a big mistake. Um, these two de facto, uh, I would say, so-called states want to uh, gain the independence, right? And um, Russia recognized the independence of these de two de facto uh, governments or states in 2008, in 2008 after the war. And since then, uh, there was no progress. There has been no progress in that direction because these two uh, territories have been part of uh, Georgia uh, since the existence of our country. And therefore, according to my knowledge and according uh, to our analysis, uh, Russia is not interested in, in annexing the, uh, these two de facto uh, 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 ter territories, I mean, two, two de facto governments. Well, let's countries. look at um, Russia's interests and, and Moscow's interests, because there has been a warning, hasn't there, from the Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, that if you sign the European Association Agreement, which you intend to do later this month, there will be serious consequences. What do you read that to mean? Well, first of all, uh, when we came into power after the parliamentary election in 2012, we entirely changed our attitude towards Russia. Uh, as far as you know, uh, the previous administration of Saakashvili had a different uh, approach towards Russia because they had a very radical policy. And um, we made a number of constructive steps in order to de-escalate the tension, and we did quite, quite well. We appointed Prime Minister Special Envoy, Special Representative for Russian Relations, who was working with his counterpart, uh, Deputy Foreign Minister. and. Um, we made uh, a lot of progress, I would say, in terms of you know, transport, communication, trade, and uh, Russia opened the market gradually for the Georgian products, for Georgian wine and mineral water. And just recently, two weeks ago, they opened a market for uh, agricultural products. Uh, well, I think we uh, proved that we would like to normalize the relationship with, with, them, with them, with Russian Federation. And just uh, a month ago, the official uh, person, I mean, the for, uh, deputy foreign minister of of Russia confirmed, made a public statement, that Russia does not intend to interfere with Georgia's European Association Agreement. So do you think, in a way, you can succeed where Ukraine failed in signing an association agreement with the European Union while maintaining strong and developing relations with Moscow? Well, I think uh, Georgia... Yeah, I, I think our way, I mean, I mean the Georgian way is uh, quite unique because, on the one hand, we're uh, moving toward the European Union, and we made it very clear when we initialed the association agreement last November in Vilnius that this process became irreversible. And at the same time, we uh, uh, were trying to normalize the relationship with Russia. And I think we're creating a, a, a very interesting precedent, a, an example, in the region. So that, you know, uh, on the one hand, we uh, would like to become part of the Euro you know, European Union, and we're going to sign the European Association Agreement uh, this June, uh, by the end of June, uh, on 27th. And uh, at the same time, we're, we are you know, normalizing the re relationship with Russia. So I think uh, we're, we found that you know, uh, a perfect uh, you know, balance, uh, if we can. So you so. might be setting a precedent where states like Moldova, smaller states, and larger states like Ukraine could follow in being able to face East and West at the same time. You seem pretty confident about that. I'm pretty confident that uh, so far we don't see any, any sign. And, and what uh, about um, Georgia and NATO? Because that was one of the, one of the problems that led to that, that war a few years ago, wasn't it? Georgia's declared intent to join NATO. Would that be a step too far? Well, you know, we made it uh, very clear that uh, you know, Georgia's aspiration to become a member of the European Union and a member of NATO is, uh, is an irre irreversible process. Uh, of course, we're not that naive. that We understand that it takes time. But I think Georgia made uh, a tremendous progress. Uh, everybody says, uh, all NATO member states, say that uh, Georgia made a, a very obvious uh, progress. Uh, we had uh, free and fair parliamentary and presidential elections uh, in 2012, the parliamentary elections, and last year we had uh, really unprecedented uh, free and fair uh, presidential elections. And as far as I know, uh, Georgia still remains the largest uh, non-member state, uh, non-NATO member state uh, contributed to Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, uh, to the ISAF mission. And we're committed to stay there beyond 2014, after, after the uh, 
uh, for the NRF, I mean, we're going to participate in the NRF NATO response force. And at a point where the US has made clear to oh, states such as uh, Poland and the Baltic Republics that it has their interests at heart and it doesn't want to see any further Russian expansionism, do you feel that you are equally close to Washington? How would you characterize your relationship with the Obama administration? Well, you mean the Georgia uh, US administration? Okay. Well, I had a very successful trip in, in Washington uh, several uh, months ago. I had a meeting with uh, President Obama and uh, Vice President, and I, I met with Secretary Kerry, and uh, we have an uh, uh, excellent relationship with, uh, with the United States because uh, the United States is uh, our main partner, is our strategic partner, and uh, we maintain these uh, very close ties uh, with the United States. But I think, uh, you know, our aspiration to become a member of the European Union doesn't conflict with our, uh, you know, will, goodwill to normalize relationship with Russia. And uh, I think you know, peaceful and stable Georgia means uh, peaceful and uh, stable uh, in a region because Georgia has a very unique and very important uh, strategic location, geostrategic location. And I think uh, everybody should be interested in having peace and stability in that region. Prime Minister, thanks so much for coming to speak with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.